Hey y'all, what's up? Good morning. Welcome to the vlog. I am so excited about this vlog. This is one of my favorite type of vlogs to film and it is going to be a packing with me for Disney World and I'm so excited. But I have been to Disney World. I didn't go technically in 2022, but we're going first thing in 2023 and I have been like once a year for the past like five years with my friends and it has been the best like little tradition. Um, but I do think this upcoming trip is going to be our last one for a minute. Or so we think we really don't know um but to kind of let y'all know what's happening it, it is currently the friday before new year's eve so it's new year's eve eve right now um and i'm going to try and get this vlog up actually before we even go to disney world so the plan um has been to drive down to disney world on tuesday what would that be tuesday is january 3rd um so our plan has been to drive down because our other five friends that are going so it's lydia madison cat and then douglas and will and me and tyler we are the ones that are going and our plan has been to go down on Tuesday and they are all flying down but we are going to drive down because it's like an eight hour drive um and Tyler and I are used to like driving to like North Carolina and all these places so it's really like not bad um but Tyler and I were like well if we're driving we can go a few days early and like explore Orlando because I've really I did that a few years ago with my mom but I haven't spent too too much time in Orlando um that was the only time I've seen it like separately outside of Disney so we're gonna go down Sunday so New Year's Eve we are gonna like stay in um and the next two days today and tomorrow Friday and Saturday are gonna be very busy so I decided I would bring y'all along in packing and getting ready for it and another little plot twist is we don't really have any outfits too much I have like three outfits or two outfits that I'm gonna show you guys um but a lot of it we plan on getting when we get down there which I'm also going to vlog um my first couple of days in Orlando so we'll see how that goes so this is like a bag of stuff if you've ever been to box lunch they have a bunch of cute disney stuff um and then in here or under here are my ears i will show y'all and just some like random things but today i'm gonna get my suitcase out and get everything like nice and packed um to the most part and then finish up tomorrow okay i have been talking to the camera and i don't know when it like cut off but it just randomly said it was not recording so i'm gonna see if i remember everything i just said um but today is new year's eve eve once again tomorrow is new year's eve and we are going to spend the next 48 hours really going hard and getting stuff done we're going to go get our nails done we're going to go to target there's just a bunch of like random things that i just need to do um but to kind of tell y'all our schedule for the week next week so they are all getting down there tuesday um and tuesday night we're going to disney springs which is kind of like our tradition like our pre like park tradition so every time we've gotten there the night before we go eat at a restaurant there and we have reservations at paddlefish which i've never eaten at but i know it's like in that huge like boathouse looking thing so i'm really excited to go there um and then the first day wednesday is our first day in the parks and we are going to do two parks that day we're going to start the day with animal kingdom and then the second half of the day we're going to do hollywood studios um so very excited for that day and then Thursday, I have never been, but we are going to Universal Studios Islands of Adventure. Um, so that'll be fun. I'll be vlogging that as well. I have no idea what to expect. Well, like I kind of do, like I've seen a map, but I have never been to anything with Universal. So very excited. And then Friday, we are doing Magic Kingdom, which is like the classic. It's one of my favorites, like of all time. Like I dream of the day when I can take my kids there. But um, the older I've gotten, the more I've like learned to love the other parks. Like I used to have like this, not resentment towards the other parks but i used to be like oh magic kingdom's always going to be the best because it's like the princesses and the castle um but magic kingdom is always going to be like low-key my favorite but i have learned that epcot might actually be my favorite because i can appreciate it now more as an adult and we're doing that one saturday so i'm so excited because they have the new guardians of the galaxy ride and i've never read that and um Tyler also has been to Disney World like one time years ago and he does not remember anything so I'm mostly excited for him like everybody else in our group like Lydia, Madison, and Kat and me we went last year or in 2021 the end like in December like I was there on my birthday and then um me and Madison um have been together a couple times beyond that and then Douglas and Will they have been they said like two or three years ago but Tyler does not remember it like at all and so I'm so excited for him to like experience Disney um so yeah we're gonna be very busy today I'm honestly like really hungry right now so we're gonna go make us some breakfast okay so this is our breakfast we have some greek yogurt with chia seeds and look what I got Tyler I want him what did what are these the twos twos original colorways uh-huh you know, in game worn it's up you know what I'm saying? game worn 
I not like the actual um, the color. Right? Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say, wow, I am really amazing. <laughs> um, I wish an, <laughs> an early birthday present. Yes, yes, yes. She's the best for sure. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm say hey, Bella. Good morning, sunshine. I've had these clothes in the back of my car for the past like two months, and they are clothes that I either want to donate or I want to um, take to Play-Dohs, and so. I am trying to get these out of my car because they're driving me nuts. Um, and I want to go to Play-Dohs at some point today. Um, and then Tyler's going through his to see what he wants to do the same with. How's it going over there? We'll see you in here a couple of hours. Hopefully play dohs like my sweat, you know what I'm <laughs> okay y'all so it's a little bit later in the day um i had like a half day of work which is so nice um and tyler and i are about to go eat at a place called soho social um i live in birmingham by the way if you are new birmingham alabama and soho social is kind of like it's amazing it's like southern not even like a sports bar food but kind of um so we are gonna go there and i'm about to get gas because i'm literally on empty i put on a little bit of makeup because later today we are going to tyler's family's house to have christmas round two um with his youngest brother who wasn't able to be at christmas round one um on actual christmas so we're doing that and i'm so excited because we're playing games and stuff but i'm so nervous that my car is gonna run out of gas we are right in front of a gas station though so we should make it but ah we're at so so social, I got my spritz, tacos, Tyler's tacos, dollar beer. Literally, they do. Happy hour in Birmingham. Yeah, literally, one dollar beers every single day. Woo. Okay guys, so it's a little bit later and right now I am currently outside of Target. We're about to go in. Um, I'm going to go return this and I'm going to show you guys what all I have packed to go to Disney. Well, I haven't packed yet. We're going to pack together, but I'm going to show you guys what all I have like to take to Disney because we still have to get some outfits, but I was going to wear this to Universal, but if you don't know my friend Madison and I, we have a podcast called Magically Chaotic and we decided we want to wear our matching hats to Universal and so I'm just going to wear like a plain outfit you have to go into target because i have like a long list of things that i need to get um well i like to make lists for literally everything in my life i'm a big list maker i prefer it on like paper and pen but for convenience sake i have it on my phone today because i'm going to be out and about um so i have a to-do list and then i have a to get list and then i have a packing list um so the things that i need to get um or to do i need to go return the sweatshirt i also have some stuff i need to return to walmart um but in target today i need to get a new tanning mitt if they don't have a tanning mitt i might go get it at ulta um someone just pulled up next to me and i'm kind of self-conscious about it the more maybe bb cream which is my favorite and then i want like a red jacket for one of my outfits to like tie around my waist in case it does get cool at night and then lastly i need to go to victoria's secret pink the campus rep recruitment for pink starts back up in january and literally being a pink rep is what changed my whole life it is the reason i am on youtube right now um and i owe them everything but i need to get an outfit because i'm going to be promoting um the campus rep application lunch and so i need to take some pictures in it so we're going to go buy pink and then also i need some bras I'm I'm either gonna go get those from pink or airy um like some just some kind of like lightly lined bras to wear to the parks all of my bras are either like sports bras or sticky boobs or um like underwire and i really want like just a seamless bra to wear if y'all have recommendations let me know also i'm on like a huge taylor swift kick um to the point where now i'm like i have to go to this concert like if i do not go to the eras concert i don't know what i'm gonna do um i'm so determined that i'm gonna be able to go so we're gonna listen to taylor swift while we go into target which sometimes i'm like do people care if i listen but i'm gonna be minding my own business in here so well i cannot hear anything okay i've tried to find the least crowded section but i love getting these little five dollar t-shirts and i get them like an xl i'm normally like a medium or a large um and this one i got kind of oversized because i think it's going to match one of the things i want to wear but they're five dollar little crop tees and also if you get them a little oversized they're a little longer and i'm short um so i got also deodorant i got some um elastic little hair ties because i think i want to braid my hair one day and this is the kind of light to use this is the bb cream that i swear by it's so good it's like eight dollars and it literally makes your skin look like a dewy seamless face <laughs> um and then we're gonna get this mascara i was gonna get waterproof but i don't think i am and then i also got some body wash oh and i got these these are actually what i'm gonna use to braid my hair so maybe i don't even need these i think i might just get these actually today um 
and then I was gonna get these toothbrushes but I think I'm just gonna use mine and then throw them away after but now I'm looking at jewelry and jewelry is always something I like to get new of which is like I don't really need to spend my money on this but I'm trying to think if I actually need like some backup hoops and stuff okay we got the goods plus a little extra now we're going to go over to the summit and go to all the other stores Okay, now we are at the summit. Um, I'm probably gonna go in Victoria's Secret and then I might go in Bath and Body to get some hand sanitizer to take. Um, and I think that's pretty much gonna be it on this section. And then we're gonna go across the street to the other side of the summit and go to Aerie, American Eagle. And I might pop in Lululemon. Um, I really don't own a lot from there besides belt bag. Okay guys, we went to Pink. It was very crowded in there because they're having the semi-annual sale going on. But I got two things and they're super cute. Well, first, is just this like lightly lined sports bra which i need um i used to have several like this this is like a different style um but yeah it's a seamless set active sp um seamless pink active sports bra so i will be wearing this a lot it was only like 12 dollars. so y'all go check out their uh semi-annual sale like a lot of their stuff was marked like 60 percent off and then this is actually a newer thing and i'm obsessed they have i don't even know what the technical term of this would be what is this called it's like a cardigan but it's like thick and um it's like fleecy kind of and they had like three or four different colors but i thought this one was so cute oh, um i finally have found a spot i've been driving around for like oh shoot that woman we would have had that <gasps> lady are you serious that woman just i've had my blinker on for so oh my heavens me okay we may come back in lulu later but we're gonna go into airy first i have not been in there in a minute okay we're looking for the bras okay so bella is like dying to get out of here i'm gonna do a full show and tell of everything when i get back tonight but we're about to go to tyler's Bella, stop crying. Um, this is one of the bras I got from Aerie. They are so comfortable. I'm wearing the other one right now. It's called like the Smoothies bra. Um, I have on like a different style right now, but it's so comfy. Um, I just tried on this shirt with one of the... Let me show you real quick. So this is what I got from Box Lunch to wear. And this is like really the only Disney thing I have right now. It says Tiggers on it and it's so cute. It's like a baseball jersey. And then it's got Robin on the back. Um, and so I got this little crop tee in Target to wear under it. It's like the same color orange pretty much. And then I'm gonna wear that with like short biker shorts one of the days, but I need to find some more biker shorts Oh, and this is a backpack that Tyler got me for Christmas It is from Nike and it is so cute and the, my favorite part are these like little chains that they come with um, for the like the straps and it's just adorable so I'm so happy he got me that and, like that color goes with like everything this is what I just got in Fabletics so I don't know if I mentioned it on here I've been looking for a red jacket to wear with like this bodysuit that I got from Fabletics also like a couple months ago um, and I can't find a red jacket anywhere but I found this one in there and I had a, a credit for something free so um, I got this and it's so flattering um, it's so cute it's the Trinity performance jacket and if you have credits like it really was not like that bad and they have I think 60% on the whole store but I'll show y'all the bodysuit later it's like just all black it's really cute and then this hat I got from Amazon um, and I'll try and like link everything below but I thought this hat was so cute um, and then once again this is what I got from pink and so we're gonna wear this tomorrow and take some cutie pictures I literally just woke up five minutes ago I swear um, I ran to the bathroom brushed my teeth put in my contacts and then put on some sweatpants um, but we are about to go to chick-fil-a it's currently 8 15 ish in the morning or 8 24 8 24 now um, I think I got out of the bed at like literally after 8 15 today we are grinding i know yesterday i didn't do too much packing but today is the big packing day because we leave tomorrow so we're gonna be doing a lot um and we're gonna go get coffee and chick-fil-a right now but i wanted to say that um we have a lot to do today first of all so my nail appointment is at 10 i'm still deciding on what color i want to get for whatever reason i want like an icy blue like literally like the color of the sky right now um because that's what i think of when i think of january like i don't really want disney themed nails I want something that I can wear throughout the whole month because we're only there for like a week. Okay, so this is the Chick-fil-A in Avondale and the only bad thing about it is you have to get out of your car to go in or do a mobile order. Like they don't have a drive through Okay, we got the goods. Are you a chicken mini person or a chicken biscuit person? I'm a mini person. Tyler's a biscuit person. Okay. 
All right, we are here. Um, I went home or to Tyler's and ate some Chick-fil-A and then took a quick shower and got ready. And this is the nail salon I go to, Vestavia Nails. And I went ahead and put on the shirt that I got from Pink yesterday, um, but I did not have time to do my makeup. So I'm gonna go back and do that when I am done getting my nails done. Hey it is currently 1.08 and I just finished editing this video I filmed in my bathroom, which is the Pink Rep info. Um, if you're interested in being a Pink Rep, go check it out. It will be live by now for sure. I'm gonna upload it to go live tomorrow. Um, Tyler has been cleaning out his car. Okay, so uh, the video is uploading and Tyler is getting all his stuff laid out. So right now, we are planning on going shopping when we get down there, but this is a sweatshirt that he got from Box Lunch and it's so cute, um, but he is laying out the clothes that he's gonna take and um, we are hungry right now. So, what are we about to do? Mexican. <laughs> yeah, Mexican. We're on like a Mexican food kick and there's a really good place near him. So we're gonna go there. Oh, also, I wanna go ahead and show you my Disney ears. Um, and I'm probably gonna get one more pair when we get down there because it's just like kind of fun to grab a new pair every time. This pair is a homemade pair. It's someone made a few years ago um, for my family. And this is a Buzz Lightyear. I've showed these on here before, but they're so cute. And then I'll show you the other two homemade pair that I have. We have this one is Ursula themed. So cute. I got lots of compliments on this one. And also the next one, um, those were made for my mom. The first ones were made for my brother, but these were made for me and they are Little Mermaid. I would love to get like some kind of cute outfit to go with this for one of the days because I love Little Mermaid. She's my favorite. Um, and then also I had to get these, but I don't know about y'all, but the, the ears I get from the parks, they low key hurt my head um, because I have a big head and they like squeeze. And then we also have these that are pink. I got these like three or four years ago. I'm not sure. What do you think, Tyler? Was it, which one, are you gonna wear them? He said he's not gonna wear them. Um, these are the newest ones. I think I got these last year because uh, gold is like my favorite color and these just can go with anything. But I really wanna get like one nice pair too while we're down there. Then I think I showed this yesterday, but it's so cute and it's a hat. Um, they have one there. I got inspired, I think, Sierra might have worn one like this. We were just talking about how Sierra and Russell Wilson go to Disney a good bit, but I love it. It has these little pom-poms on here. How was your food? <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we cleaned our plates, honestly. Okay guys, little mini Target haul. I'm so excited about this. I hope it comes together with the way I think it's going to, but I found this skirt, or it's a skirt. And it's like my favorite color green, an emerald green color. It's in a large. Honestly, probably could have got a medium to like be a little bit more form fitting, but the large fits perfect. And it's just like a cheerleader type skirt. Um, I love it. I think it's gonna be so fun. And I have this vision of like those uh, aerial ears I showed y'all earlier, or possibly new ears with like a little aerial t-shirt or something. But if not aerial, then maybe like Toy Story. I just see myself wearing this to like Epcot. Oh, I could get something like Guardians of the Galaxy or just literally plain Mickey Disney something. Something with green in it. I think this is so cute. It makes me literally halfway through getting my nails done this morning. I was like, man, I wish I got emerald green because this is like my favorite color to wear like as a redhead. So I think it's cute. Um, So now I officially have like two and a half outfits, but we're going to show you all those later. I feel bad I keep talking about them. Um, and then I got socks, but they fell out of the thing. I got Tyler some socks from Amazon for Christmas, and they are the best socks either one of us have ever put on. Somehow they fit both of our feet, um, but I don't have enough. Like, I steal his socks all the time and wear them. So I'm going to hopefully, hope and pray, I'm really picky about socks. I'm going to hope and pray that these will work for me. Like, I like super thin socks, and if they slide down at all, then I will riot. Like, I hate socks that slide down. Um, so we're going to pray that those don't. Okay guys, so I am back and I wanted to show y'all this is where we are gonna finally start packing in this vlog. But I have my suitcase and we are going to pack everything up in here. Um, also, I need to just go through everything and figure out what is it I'm gonna take. So Tyler and I, like I mentioned, are going down tomorrow, which is a Sunday. And tomorrow night, we're probably gonna go over to Disney Springs. And I'm gonna vlog the first few days too of me and Tyler being there. I'm gonna vlog the whole week, but I'm gonna break it up. Um, so tomorrow night, I'm gonna wear like a cute outfit. Monday will be casual during the day, but then at night we might like go out and explore, like go to a nice restaurant or something. And then Tuesday is probably gonna be all casual. Um, and then Tuesday night, we're going to eat at Paddlefish at Disney Springs, but I'll probably dress pretty casual for that. Um, simply because 
because our friends are coming in from the airport. And this is what Tyler, some of the things, Tyler got me so much for Christmas. He knew I wanted a leather jacket, so he got me not only one, but two, a black one and a brown one. And then he got me these bodysuits from Express, which y'all know are my favorite. Um, oh, oh, I was about to say, where's the third one? He got me this cream colored one, um, this tan colored one, and this black like knitted one. It's so cute. Um, so I'm probably going to bring those to wear at night because I imagine it'll be like cool enough to wear a jacket with like jeans and booties. Oh, I'll show y'all also what he got me. He got me these Nike blazers I've been wanting to take to the gym because I, we, I don't like lift weights like crazy, but we're getting back into it. Like during 75 hard is when we started. And then he got me new Air Forces, which he got me Air Forces for Christmas last year. And that was the last time I got a new pair. So they were desperately needed. And then he got me these super cute booties, which I think these are going to be the booties I bring. And maybe wear with this jacket and then like that cream colored bodysuit and like some black jeans or something. Okay guys, so now it's time for packing finally. I have my tripod so we're going to get it all set up. But it looks like Tyler um, got all of his stuff packed. I got him this for Christmas. Oh gosh, that's actually really heavy. Um, and it's a duffel bag that fully unrolls and you can like hang like clothes and, clothes and stuff. He travels um, a good bit for work and um, you can like put suits and stuff in there. And then I also got him these shoes for Christmas, these New Balances. They were super hard to find. Um, they're the 550s. They're super cute though. Um, so I'm going to situate his stuff somewhere and then we're going to start on my stuff. Sorry if you hear football in the background and sorry that my hair is so greasy. Um, I'm trying to like get this in like a presentable situation. I got this little bag from a company that sent me like hair products in it and then inside here I'm gonna put my jewelry because it's like kind of like a sturdy bag and jewelry is like one of the most important parts. A couple months ago Bobble Bar sent me this bracelet from Sugar Fix and it's so cute. It's Minnie and Mickey and they're like kissing and so I'm gonna wear this probably like every single day to the park. Like, look how cute that is. It's adorable. So, yeah, it's just like a simple little gold bracelet. And then I'll probably bring these hoops Tyler got me for Christmas. These are like my classic Target hoops that I wear everywhere. And then gold hoops, obviously. I look very rough right now, so just disregard. But this is my suitcase that I'm going to take. Oh, I forgot I had my mini one. A little whatchamacallit and um i'm just gonna kind of go as i pick up things these are the bras that i got from airy yesterday um they're like called the smoothies and they are so comfortable i actually wore this one last night and it was so soft no this one last night so comfy and then i'm also going to try this on again in a second this is like what i'm most nervous to wear but it's what i like the most but also i'm not really feeling my body right now like since ending 75 hard i've kind of like come down from feeling so good and confident and i ordered this during 75 hard to wear to disney world um and it's from fabletics and it is like kind of like snake skinny and it's like a full-on jumpsuit bodysuit thing and it's really flattering like when you're feeling yourself it's you know sometimes when you're not feeling yourself it doesn't matter what you're wearing i got this jumpsuit to wear with this fabletics jacket so i'm gonna be all fabletics out um and this is probably gonna like go around my waist and then that hat i showed y'all earlier and so what i don't have at all right now is something to wear to universal um all i have that i know for sure i want to wear to universal is this hat and this is our magically chaotic hat um that madison made for us for our pictures we took and we haven't posted all of our pics yet but I love this hat it's a little big on my head but I do have a big head so it doesn't really matter but what my goal is when we go to Orlando I want to find like just a matching brown set like big like what do you call them dad shorts with like a cropped brown tee or black tee something like that just something like simple I might could actually pull something together as like a backup option um but yeah this is all i have for universal and then another thing i forgot i have are these disney socks i wore these last year i think they came from h m and they're just so cute so i have to bring these i'm not sure which day i guess i could go with this black bodysuit and then i might wear air forces honestly my air forces are so comfortable i've worn them to disney before they do not hurt my feet so this first outfit from fabletics it shows everything um so i'm so self-conscious about it but this is like i have a sports bra that has the same exact design at the top um, but Tyler said it looks fine. Everyone I've asked says it looks fine. But you know, like sometimes when you wear something that's like so like, I mean, it is a bodysuit. It shows your whole body. So I am a little self-conscious in it, but it'll be okay. I'm going to put on some self-tanner and then I'm going to tie this around my waist. And this is just being transparent. But it does have this super cute back cut out in the back, which also is like, you know, a little bit out of my comfort zone. But I'll probably just keep this jacket tied here the whole time. Um, but yeah. This is what we got for number one. Probably gonna wear this the first day.
because I'll be like the least bloated. <laughs> but yeah, it's um, I'll probably keep this jacket like tied around the waist like this the whole time. But yeah, it's like you know, sometimes like when you're a girl or anybody, um, wearing something out of your comfort zone is a lot. But we're just gonna go for it because I ideally would want like my body to be in a perfect state, but that's never gonna happen. Um, because nobody's perfect, nobody, nobody's body is perfect. Um, so I need to work on that in 2023. So we're gonna start that off with a bang with this outfit but yeah um but it is on the other side it is the most comfortable thing like you feel like you were just wearing like nothing it's so comfy okay so this is the second outfit i have that first outfit i'm gonna wear the first day which we're going to animal kingdom and hollywood studios on that day and then this is probably what i'm gonna wear to magic kingdom only because they have a winnie the pooh ride i have no other excuse um so this it says Tigger's on it, and then this crop t-shirt I got from Target, and then you can't really see my biker shorts, but they are from the brand 30 Years, um, and then these are my gold Disney things, and then the shoes I have on right now are these platform blazers, which honestly are extremely comfortable, and I do think I could walk in the entire day. Um, I have not walked that long in them, but I think if I had like the right socks on, I think I could, but honestly, I'm probably going to wear, bring Air Forces to wear, and then like two pair of tennis shoe options. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and undo this damage that I've done. Um, we're going to go ahead and get this packed up, um, and what we got, and just trying to lay the foundation. Also, we're going to be gone a full week, um, so that means pajamas, underwear, socks, bras, all that stuff. It's a lot. T-shirts from Target though. I have a white and a black one already. They are five dollars, and they're just like such good like basic pieces to wear under like leather jackets or jean jackets, whatever. And they have so many different colors. I am so happy with this purchase. I think it's so cute. Um, no idea when I'm gonna wear this again, but I think it's gonna make really cute pics in um, Magic Kingdom. Normally I would wear the black and red outfit then, but we were thinking about it and like, you know how you get bloated when you go on vacation? I don't know if y'all do, but I do. And I was like, I need to wear the tightest outfit on day one. Also for Christmas, I got Tyler a bunch of stuff from Gymshark and I got myself a few things, including these seamless leggings and they are so comfortable. It's my first time owning anything from Gymshark. I don't know the exact type of leggings that these are, but they were on sale. I think they still have their sale going on, but they're so cute. And I'm going to bring these, like, even if it's just to, like, wear around. But also, I have um, some t-shirts from Gymshark. This is one of the Gymshark shirts that I got. And then also, I got a gray one. And I'm going to be buying more in, like, every color because they're so soft and comfy and flattering. Also, super random, weird angle. I got this claw clip from Target. Madison got one, too. Um the other half of it, magically chaotic and it's so cute i think it was um it was just like in their jewelry section i'm trying to think of like what brand maybe a new day um but it's so cute and it's like really sturdy too like i have worn the mess out of this and it's just adorable okay, some more important stuff in the jewelry box i have two pair of these silver hoops actually three pair it was like a three pack and then these thick gold hoops that i wear all the time from target 7.99 i've gone through so many of these um but they are literally the best and they, they do tarnish kind of but for them to be like the price that they are they don't hurt your ears um i lose them a lot too but it's kind of nice like you don't have to be super responsible i'm going to take the earrings that are in my ears now i have this little bag i got from ipsy and in here i'm going to put a bunch of little scrunchies which i have some more i need to round up all of my scrunchies i'm going to put these um little what do you call these bobby pins i cannot think of any names right now and then this is going to go in my backpack which i'll show this in a minute and i'm gonna, it's going to be like an emergency bag so i'm going to put contacts in here i'm going to put maybe a little thing of ibuprofen um some germamine i found the other day this little eos um lippy thing um a beauty sponge which i'm going to bring concealer every day eyeliner extra contacts i think i already said that um and then lipstick all that stuff and i like to keep it in a bag so you like know where it's at and it doesn't spill out and then also gum okay it's only six but i went ahead and made me some prosecco and then i put some raspberry lemonade in it so it's like a raspberry lemonade mimosa it's a very interesting taste but um, I'm just going to have that to sip on. Also, once again, this is the backpack. But we have a lot to be done. But also, at the same time, not really. So, next order of business, I'm going to lay out something to wear tomorrow. This is my makeup bag. I've showed it on here before. I've showed it on TikTok and everything. Um, 
but I got it from Amazon and it is one of like my best purchases and I literally just take the whole thing like this like I don't specialize it or anything it's just like all my makeup's in here all my brushes fit here and then I will slide like I'll probably only take my Jaclyn Hill palette like my original one and then whatever else happens to be back here um and that's it like for my makeup but then other things like this I'll have to put somewhere else like setting spray and then I'll put my skincare and stuff in another bag um and then I'll also bring this mirror with me it was like a few bucks at Target and I'm gonna bring it because you know like when you're traveling with people you want to make sure that you're able to like do your makeup in any situation so as long as I have a mirror of any size I can make it work so we're gonna bring this one just in case we need it so I feel like when you're in the park you have to bring in my opinion some type of body spray ignore how dirty the sink is I swear I just cleaned it like two days ago um but this is my like travel size uh Sol de Janeiro um brazilian crush body spray and it is almost empty and then i bought this one during the sale at sephora so i'm about to try my best and pour um the big one into the small one or like some of it and just see if i can do a decent job i don't even know if y'all can like really see oh wait this is not as hard as i thought it was gonna be oh that got a little crazy okay that's probably that's probably enough so I'll just keep big guy here and take little guy with me. Gosh, I'm going to do a little bit more. If I go through all this in a week, um, plus I'm bringing a little mini Pure Seduction perfume from Victoria's Secret because um, it's like one of the little tiny ones. But yeah, this is so perfect. And I will keep this also in my backpack. Okay, all this room is look, literally looks like a disaster. We've been throwing stuff around like all day long, but I am about to take a break from packing. I'm pretty much almost done because like I don't have all my outfits together anyway. Um, but I am about to take a shower and I'm gonna wash this nasty hair of mine, scrub my whole body with some body scrub, shave my legs, and then we're gonna do some self tan. And there are so many self tanners that I love, um, but these, this is like a, such an affordable option. It's the Ulta Beauty Express Tinted Mousse. You only have to leave it on for three hours. Um, it's like 6.30 now, so I'll probably keep it on until honestly after midnight. I don't even acknowledge my appearance right now. I have self tanner on. Tyler, you gonna tell them what you did? You wanna hold the camera or you want me to hold it? Oh, you gotta experience the vlog life. What yeah. I did <laughs> was I think I was a, a famous baker or something and tried to make some homemade cinnamon uh, cinnamon rolls. He did. Uh, he it, did not, it did not work. It did not work at all. It did not work at all. And Miss Claire came to the rescue. And he had a call for backup. I had a call for backup. <laughs> I was in there editing this vlog in my self tanner and he was like, I made a little uh oh, and but we fixed it. It's okay. Do so you want to show him what it's you did? Good. What I did, I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's more of a wee thing. I tried, <laughs> mine's in the trash, man. Here, you can flip this around. And then like that, you can see it this way. So these are the rolls. Mm -hmm. These are the rolls. Dang, this is, this is what reinforcements does. <laughs> Guys out there, mark my word. We is not like that in the kitchen. <laughs> but, but, but I'm also a quick learner. So, so next time, <laughs> next time I'm good now. I'm good. He learned. He really helped a lot. And right now they are rising for like another 30 something minutes. I look so scary. I know it. Um, and then we are making omelets too. So breakfast. It's like, what time is it? Bringing in the new it's year it's with breakfast. Hot. It's 10. And it's 10 now. And so are you, are you packed up? I'm packed up and ready to go. It's <laughs> up Disney World. She been boosting me up. He's excited now. He was not excited three months ago. Where are you? Look, look, I didn't spend enough money. I'm, 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 I'm gonna have a good time no matter what. So I'm, I'm gonna be excited. I'm going down there. My inner child is coming out because I'm getting the full experience. Yeah. Not planned. Yeah, we're gonna um, go full throttle, and we're gonna vlog the next two days of us being in Orlando, and then of course we're gonna vlog Disney, and Tyler's gonna let y'all know all of his thoughts, and feelings, and all that good stuff. Which I know they're all gonna be positive. All positive. I only have positive vibes. Come on. One of the reasons I really like Tyler in the beginning is because he likes Marvel stuff. And they have the new Guardians of the Galaxy ride that I have not re rode yet. They said we jog into that. And no, that's Pandora. That's, oh, that's, that's Pandora. Pandora. All right. I just want to let y'all know. Y'all y'all version of jog and my version of jog is real different. Call so y'all better come on with it because I'm, I'm first in line. Not waiting in line. That's why I, that, that's my only negative going into Disney, not waiting in lines. Tyler doesn't believe in lines. I'll be high stepping to the front. <laughs> 
Wait, 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 wait,